Tyler, you're big boss man and Michael Jordan. Uh, you know, a lot of other drivers, they go back and they have to look at Rick Hendrick, Joe Gibbs uh, in the eye. The, the guy you go to uh, as the boss man. Yeah, I, yeah I you look up at 6'6", six, six, yeah. uh, worth, worth the guy. How cool is that? But at the same time, is it a little bit intimidating? Is there extra pressure there when one of the most recognizable athletes on the face of the globe is the guy you're talking to post-race? It's always pressure. And, um, you know, I think back to a conversation we had at Daytona uh, a year ago. You know, we were hanging out before the race, um, and he reminded me, he's like, you're, you're kind of terrible on ro on the speedway races, <laughs> racetracks. <laughs> My like, can what do say that. to get better? Like, like, well, you know, I'll talk to Bub. I'll try and figure it out. So I remembered that, and we, we crashed, of course, in that 500 a year ago. So I made, I tried to make it a big effort to get better on, on the speedways. We really dove into it in the offseason. Um, and, yeah, some of it can be circumstantial to a degree. But uh, it was really nice to be able to uh, open this current year up into the duel and, and get to victory lane because that motivated me for sure. Uh, that's one thing about Michael is he's, he's not afraid to be brutally honest, but – um, he's a very personable guy. He, he makes the effort to talk to everyone on the team when he's there, um, be a part of meetings. Uh, he's just all around a great owner.